Hello and welcome to the SRUSA 2024 Spring Break Showcase. We're here today at the Just Football Stadium, home of our partners, Hemsworth Miners Welfare Football Club. Today, our 2024, 2025 and 2026 clients will be showcasing their ability for coaches to watch and get them recruited. Without further ado, let's go inside to the studio to begin the recap of our event. Hello everyone and welcome inside the Just Football Stadium here in West Yorkshire, England. Uh, this is the 2024 Spring Break Showcase. I've got my colleagues uh, starting on my right. I've got Joe Stacey, I've got Dan White here and then Danny Riley here. So it's a whole new concept this year uh, with the showcases. Usually we do the live broadcast of the full six hour event, but we try to make it a bit easy for the coaches to kind of take in the, the players and all the information about them. So the new concept is basically um, we're doing highlights and we've got uh, lots of analysis on every single player, how they've done on the day and stuff like that. So if anyone doesn't know much about SIUSA, we thought I'd give you a little bit of information about that. So um, the company was founded by myself in 2010. So we started off the company just looking after UK male and female players. Now fast forward 14 years, we've, um, we've, we've expanded across the world. So about 70% of our clients now are based in North America uh, and only 30% internationally. So it's definitely shifted a lot, but um, on my left and right here, you'll see uh, most of the UK team, there's a few people missing, but uh, we're the guys who look after the players in, in the UK on the girls and the guy side. So from a player's point of view, we felt that there were players in the past who might have just gone under the radar because uh, their position and um, coaches are kind of looking at players that stand out. But there's a lot of players who have got good qualities that just don't get picked up. So the stats will highlight that uh, even before coaches even look at the player. So from a coach's point of view, it's really good to see the stats and kind of highlight players before you even watch the highlights or the full games. There's so many players in the world that efficiency is a big thing for college recruiting. So. I understand from you know the other side of perspective from a coach where you're looking at a specific position or style of player and what this format is going to do is like I said make it more efficient with analysis and facts so that you can see the correct player make the correct decision. As you can see on the screen now uh, we, we're quite a transparent company so we like to show the numbers of where everyone's gone and kind of highlight uh, the differences between the years and we'll just quickly discuss that in a minute why we think some of these uh, changes have happened but um, as you can see the, the overall company one's there um, and then the overall company for 2023 the fall uh, a lot more duco ones compared to 2022 but internationally which is mainly uk um, as you can see from 2022 um, with division one's kind of stayed the same division two's dropped from 20 percent down to nine percent um, Division 3 has dropped from 6% to 3%, but the Duco route has gone up from 20% of our UK international clients to 50%. Uh, and, they, and you can see obviously uh, NAIA has gone down. So it's, it's been the Duco route that's increased since 2022, 2023. Yeah, so I'm a massive advocate for the junior college route. Obviously, as a client of SRUSA back in 2015, I went, I went to a junior college, Parkland College in Illinois. Uh, spent two years there, had a fantastic two years, got my associate's degree, moved on to an NAIA university. Um, junior college for me is a massive, massive opportunity for international players especially, just because of finances. Junior colleges have a lot more scholarships typically than four-year universities, so typically cheaper for families. Uh, academically speaking, eligibility-wise, it's a little bit easier to get into than a four-year university. The standard of football is still extremely high, you've still got sort of players from all over Europe, you've got youth team internationals, you've got academy players, first year pro players playing in the junior college system at the moment. The top sort of Division 2, Division 1 junior colleges can offer near enough full scholarships. As a company we've seen many clients have successful collegiate careers after transferring from the junior college route as Division 1 and Division 2 options weren't viable for them from the start as a freshman. How many clients did you bring in as transfer students when you were a coach at that level? I mean, we actively looked at transfer students, to be honest, um, from Duco or the sort of other kind of levels, because the big thing is about being ready. So when you've got a player who's 18 versus a player who's 20, 21, mm -hmm. those basically two to three years are a massive difference because the level of D1, D2, it's an instant impact. You need to bring players, especially international players, who are going to come in and basically step into the game straight away because we all know generally scholarships are high 
in those levels for international players. So as a coach, you've got to weigh up the two levels and go, well, is an 18 year old freshman worth X amount of money or is a two year player who's 21 has already proved at a junior college level a day better suited to the team? Yeah. You've kind of answered the question, but why is this like, why is this percentage going down of people internationally going into the four year schools? Just the top levels is higher. Top levels higher in terms of quality and numbers. Um, from an international perspective, in those schools you obviously have in the UK, we have under 21 level, under 18 levels in the categories. So with the number of players just always increasing in football from around the world, it's something now where that pedigree is the one that they're looking for. Where did you recruit? We would only recruit really from, honestly, Premier League two teams to bring in. Um, even category one under 18s at division one level is hit and miss. So in terms of analysis part, you've got to, like you said, you're investing a lot of money in a player. So you've got to make sure that play is correct. And that's why we went junior college route and tried to recruit from, from those guys quite a bit. This year's Spring Break Showcase, we've got 57 players split up into four teams. We've got six games all together. And without further ado, let's get into Reds versus Yellows. Well, hello and welcome to the SR USA Men's Soccer Spring Break Showcase live from the Just Football MDC Stadium in West Yorkshire, England. There'll be six games for you today, each played by a number of teams in a different select colour. Up first, it's the red team up against the yellow team. 57 players showcased across the day here at the Just Football MDC Stadium and it's the yellow team to get us underway. The centre-backs, uh, three of them, Augusto Chieri back to Taran Gill, there's a foul in there in midfield, or a good strong carry from Tom Barone. First free kick of the day. And it could break here for Barlow, and he's got Hyman in behind. Hyman with the strike, he draws a save out of Ashton Coxon. And looking to break away this time is Warren. And Warren almost up to halfway here. In comes the tackle from Barron. But Carried on instead. Barlow back with it. Another foul here for the team in red. Lucas Noah Sire handing it off this time. Back with Noah Sire Well, free kick one there by uh, Lucas Noah Sire Now Cyrus so is standing over the free kick that he won. Shaping up to shoot instead. Hands it off down the byline to Dunn. Across the face of goal. Glancing header. And Eric Richardson has the first goal of the day here. Good ball by uh, Charlie Dunn. In behind. Richardson with the glancing header. To put the yellow team out in front. It breaks for Noah Cyrus Soa. Hands it off. And now cutting off the wing and shaping to shoot here. But it won't trouble Charlie Emery in goal. Done. All the way back this time. Chiari out to Noah Cyrus Soa. Augusto Chiari all the way across to Wenham on the far side. Now looking to drive into this red team's half. But shepherded well out there by uh, Connor Crisp. And Trisp it is actually forces this yellow team all the way back. Lovely ball by Chiari looking to put Noah Cyrus, so in behind, towards the back post. And now here's Richardson, straight down the uh, face of Charlie Emery. 
Well, here's a quick break then. Hyman one on one. Good save by Ashton Coxon, who denied Rafe Hyman a second time. Coxon punches the corner clear, but it breaks to Dyson. And Dyson with the shot. Held by Coxon. The red team threatening here. Long ball by Emery. And it will eventually fall here for Dyson. Rafe Hyman has got Dyson round the corner. Lovely ball. Barlow first time. And that's an equaliser for this red team. Finley Barlow the scorer. Good footwork in there from uh, Dyson. And does well to track his run. Round the corner he goes. First time finish from Finley Barlow. It's all square in the first game here of the SR USA Spring Break Showcase, but Richardson latches onto it. Here's the corner. Volleyed by Wenham. But hacked away. Well, only as far as uh, Warren, who's round two. And Warren beats the defender towards the back post. But Taylor's there. Interception in midfield. Now Ukcho onto it. He finds Barron. He skips away from one. And flashes it across the face of goal. Palmed away by Coxon and caught on the rebound. Barlow in for his second. And here's Dan Atkins on the field. Intercepted by Gill. Here's Pratt. Latching onto it. And turning away from one. A good run by Pratt. But cut out. And Taylor's back with it for the team in red. Barron on the turn once again. Looking to get away from Warren. And that tackle will surely bring an end to this first game. And we'll have a look at the statistics from this match. So after that 1-1 one, one draw from Reds versus Yellows, now it's time for game two, which is Blacks versus Blues. Our second game then at the SR USA Spring Break Showcase, and it's the blue team taking on the black team here. And the blue team with another back three. On the turn there is uh, Patterson, and here's Fox. He's in plenty more of... Uh, Charlie Fox. In a moment, it's handed off to Kavanagh. Casson. Well, it could drop kindly here for Sam Porthouse, but he's been seen off there by Charlie Fox. Black possession once again. Can we go down the right hand side? Good work from you and Russell to keep the play alive. Good ball in behind. Let run by Richardson and then crossed in. Once again, it's black possession. And it's dinked in behind once more. And there is 
Charlie Fox into Chitty. Hint of a loose pass. Good first touch, but once again, in comes Fox to clean up. Well, there's a lovely ball over the top. R Richardson to chase. Casson driving into the box. Matty Casson to the edge of the area. There's the strike. But you and Russell won't trouble Tom Percival Smith from there. Well, that's a good ball. Once again, uh, there's bodies back for the blue team. This time, Zion Jagani. But there's a lovely little leave, and surely now, Porthouse, one on one, a clinical finish. Well, this is a great ball. And how about this from Ewan Russell? Just lets it run. Well, we'll come back and see it again here. Jugani with the clearance. Lovely one-touch play. Russell puts it in behind. Sam Porthouse with a great finish. To put the black team one goal of front. All in behind. Cleaned up by Harry Kirk. Thompson. Back to Kirk. Kavanagh comes deep to collect. Patient play inside, already one goal in front. Jack Jarvis now. Across to Kirk. Casson. Tight to collect. Looks to get the black team rolling, Matty Casson. Casson looking to switch the direction of play. Richardson with the ball through. Porthouse there again. In comes the cross. McLaughlin there at the back post to collect for the black team. Conor McLaughlin back inside. Kavanagh. Intercepted this time by Cowling. One back by Kirk. One touch play from Casson. Kirk, lovely ball in behind. Porthouse on the turn. Taking it to the byline. Flashed across the face. Could fall kindly here. Well, sat up at the edge of the box, but put wide. In comes the corner. Falls to Kirk at the back post. Lovely ball across and tucked home. Well, Bobby Mortimer there at the right place in the right time. And uh, he benefits from Harry Kirk's cross from inside the six-yard box. A really good corner. Threatening. Mortimer pops up at the back post to put the black team two in front. And comes the cross from uh, Owen Dale, headed away. Well, carried out of danger excellently well. Porthouse gets a touch on it. And here come the black team once again, stepping away from two, unleashing a shot. A tame effort in the end, Percival Smith able to collect. Intercepted this time from Doherty. Lovely first time ball over the top from Dacum. Edge of the area. But just touched over the bar this time by Jarvis. Doherty goes diving in, played away by uh, Collingwood. On the turn, driving forward, a great ball in behind for Collingwood to latch onto here. Collingwood with a strike, stings the palms of Tom Percival Smith 
and the follow up. Lachlan will pull through. This time to uh, Russell, and well, that was a great ball. Perhaps should have done better there from close range. Well, how about that for a ball? And a great first touch by Russell. To shepherd it off possession and back with the goalkeeper here. That will bring an end to this fixture. Convincing win there for the black team, 2-0 victory of the Blues. They'll be playing the next game versus the yellow team. Game three here from SR USA Spring Break Showcase. Two sides you've already seen in action. It's the uh, yellow team taking on the black team. And it will be the yellow side once again to get us underway. Eric Richardson a scorer in the first game. Hands it off to Charlie Dunn. And the black team uh, victorious in their first game. A little fool here for the yellow team and Summers on the return. Crosses it in. Good defending this time from Finn East. Summers once again. Trying to go on the outside. East makes the tackle. It's back with Leo Elston. What can this black team create? Looking to play out from the back. Over the top. It's a lovely weighted ball. Finn Jordan looking to take on Chiari. Jordan on the turn gets around his man. Jordan cuts it back. Chance here to the edge of the area. Lovely finish. Goal scored by Matty Casson. Lovely touch by Conor McLaughlin to set him up. Well, it was cut back really well. Touched on. Put on a sixpence, really. For Matty Casson to tuck home. And the black team have their first goal. Elsa looking to play out of the back once more. The goalkeeper. Mortimer. Thompson. Once again looking to go over the top. McLaughlin in the area. But it's a good tackle in the end to force a corner. But a great running behind from Jordan once again. But how about this for a last ditch tackle? Wonderful stuff. To force the corner. Some yellow possession then. Still down by a goal. Good ball that wide from Egan Joby. Carried on with some serious intent by Bradley Warren, who goes down in the area. Just a corner. Warren. Round one. Warren lifts it. Free header there for Wenham, but just over the bar. Lovely delivery. Beautiful evening here in West Yorkshire. It's been turned over in midfield. Good work from Charlie Dunn. Driving into the box. Here's Noah Cyrus Soa. Great covering tackle once again. 
Well, he skips away from one this time, Sam Porthouse. And another great covering tackle. Loose ball. Good touch and a lovely ball in behind by Casson. The flag is up there, unfortunately, for Matty Casson. Beautifully weighted pass. Good ball in behind, but out comes Bent Mucklow to make an important intervention. Porthouse. Surely now, great block in defence to deny the flying number seven, Will Collingwood. Here is Conor McLaughlin, skipping away from a few, but dispossessed. Palmed away at the second time of asking another save from Elsdon. It was whipped in with pace. It fell kindly to Noah Cyrusoa and then just tapped over the bar by Elston. Carrying out from defence this time. Chiari, it's a lovely ball. Noah Cyrusoa, one on one, again denied by Leo Elston. Sam Pratt unleashing a lovely ball, cut out. And the Yellows might find themselves three on three here. Good ball from Port House. Into the box. There's the strike. Wide from Jordan. Once again, the Blacks looking to break. It's Jordan herring away. Good ball inside. Well, he takes his time with it. And there's a great block in there to deny Matty Casson. Outswinging corner. Falls kindly. Kirk gets a bit on it. Packed away in the end. Only as far as Richardson. Once again, falls kindly in the box, but put over the bar. Looking to create on the edge of the box. Good footwork. Lays it off once more to Pratt. Noah Cyrusoa. Making the overlapping run. Back to the edge of the area instead. Fidley Cousins into play with Noah Cyrusoa. Cousins around one. And a crunching tackle to force a corner. Summers to throw. It's back with Summers. First time ball, but it's been picked off by Cassin. Good footwork this time from Kavanagh. A teasing ball for the goalkeeper, Noah Cyrusayu rolls it in. Good pressure from Lucas Noah Cyrusayu. Back pass from Kavanagh. And then out of nowhere, Noah Cyrusayu. So impressive in the first game today. Hit from range. Covered well by Elston. Once again, Noah Cyrusoa looking to latch onto it, Lucas Noah Cyrusoa. Elston, who's been busy today. Charged down, looking to play out of defence. Good covering by uh, Mortimer, but the ball is loose once again. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Pratt recycles possession. Wolf touch passing to keep the play alive. Now Cyrus Soa gets round one. Drifting into the box. Surely now it will fall kindly for Richardson. Who tucks it away. Lucas. No, Sire Rousseau, the creator, once again, gets the better of Bobby Mortimer this time. A serious game of end-to-end -end football here. Portland with a good touch. Last chance really for the black team in this game. And once again, 
a thunderous covering tackle. Yeah, the long ball dealt with by Elsdon, so that will bring an end to this fixture. Let Good 2-1 win there for the Yellows. Next up is Red versus Blue. Game four here of the SR USA Spring Break Showcase. Live from West Yorkshire as we head into the early evening here. It's game four as the Blue team take on the Red team. Charlie Emery starting a goal for the blue team, but it's the Reds on the break now. There's a lovely ball in behind. Cut back by Demario Wilby. Oh, cut out once again. Lovely break this time. And there's the little ball in behind. Good footwork. Heyman's round the goalkeeper. Heyman just into the side netting. Henry, through the centre backs, they look to play up the field. There's a long ball. Deflected, and it might break here for Seamus Villa. Edge of the area, there's the strike. Down goes Tom Percival Smith to make the save. Oh, cut out and a great run up the field this is oh lovely work still going here it's Austin Dyson beautiful run from Dyson will be back to Dyson skips away from the first first time ball from Taylor will be cutting it back on the volley lovely effort from Lloyd Barlow this time Will be dispossessed in midfield. Wide from Villa. Crunching tackle to put an end to that attack by Connor Trisp. Turnover in midfield. Away come this blue side once again. Villa with the one touch. Over the top. Searching for Dakum and. Out comes Emery to shut it down at this occasion. A quick throw then. A lovely touch to beat the first defender. Carrying it forward this time. Tom Doherty. Still going. Cutting it back. Dispossessed on this occasion. Chitty. Cleans it up for the blue team. Here is Chitty, looking to cause an overload, instead it's an early cross, headed away by Atkins, and out for a throw. Charlie Fox leaving it for Owen Dale. In fact it's uh, Zion Jugani over there, right back, here's Villa, and Dale on the overlap, Villa doesn't use him at this time. Here is Dale. Offside is the call. A good carry from Dyson. No free kick this time. Lovely tackle and Villa. A good first touch. Options are plenty. Here is Owen Dale. Dale 
takes it down the line himself. In comes the cross. Good defending on this occasion from Joe Taylor. Corner for the blue team. Well, as we await the corner here. What's well, a lovely corner as well. Defended on the first occasion. It's back in possession for the Blues. Here's Villa. With the second bite at it. Another great cross in. Picks out Joe Jackham. He just grazes the crossbar. Is there a counter on for the blue team here? Lovely ball by Tom Yates. Dackham through two defenders. Dackham to the byline, strikes it himself. A good save by Tom Percival Smith. Dispossessed in midfield. Tom Yates again involved. This time Tom Doherty even who gave the pass to the edge of the area. Mackenzie Strong winds one up over the bar. Well, the two Toms of Doherty and Yates involved in the midfield. And here is Doherty putting it in behind. Out comes the goalkeeper. Crucial from Percival Smith. But Taylor, this time it's into the gloves. Tom Percival Smith clipped in behind. Noip Cho, lovely ball in behind. Rafe Hyman still has it. Noip Cho again, unselfishly across the face of goal and put over the top on this occasion. Doherty, all the way back. Good first touch. And Tom Yates with the switch pass. On the cover from Zion Jagani. Driving into the box now. Jagani again has it. Across. Searching for Harry Patterson, but it's defended well. This has been a really close encounter. Two evenly matched teams. Great ball to put Imran in behind. Imran. Puts him across himself. Laid off. For Tom Barron to strike, but it was loose. And now driving through is Joe Lloyd through a couple of defenders. Lloyd, Barron over the top this time. Flying in this time. Amas Imran and whoa, inches away is Ray Feynman. Picked off once again by Amas Imran. Imran everywhere in these since he's come off the bench, but it's broken kindly for Villa. Who crosses it, but it won't trouble the defenders, and that will bring an end to this contest. A goalless draw there between the red and the blue team. Next up is yellow versus blue. Game five here of the SR USA Spring Break Showcase. And it's the yellow team up against the blue here. And of the 57 players here at the event, they've all been on show. This is the second game back to back for the blue team. And it's a quick turnover for the yellows driving into the box. Flashed across the face. Villa. 
Safety first on this occasion. Skipping away from the first two defenders and playing it wide. A good ball. And here comes the cross. Denied on this occasion by Nathan Egan Joby. Lovely ball in behind a fine Villa. What can he create from here, Seamus Villa? Steps onto his left and strikes it wide. Villa once again on the turn this time. Looking to win a free kick, but charging forward is Bradley Warren, handsing it off, and that's a lovely finish and a great goal by Lucas Noah Sayarisoa. So creative today, and Warren slipped him in behind there. A cool and composed finish by the young winger. Well, once Pratt won back possession, Bradley Warren drove the yellows forward. Out came Jack Jarvis, but he couldn't stop. No aside with Sale on this occasion. First goal of game five goes to the yellow team. There's a good ball in behind from Mahan. Cutting back and then playing it on Pattinson. Early ball in from Mahan. It falls to the edge of the area. Just over. Playing it out wide, Charlie Emery. Lovely first time ball from Richardson to put Noah Cyrus Sower in behind. He'll go alone, this time denied by Jarvis. A great save. Tom Yates from range. Oh, crashes off the crossbar. And Summers plays it back to the goalkeeper. What an effort that is from Tom Yates. Another ball in behind that sets the blue team on their way. Some lovely teasing footwork. Searching for Dakum but hacked away. Good defence. Free kick off opportunity then for the blue team. Plenty to pick out in there, including the towering Joe Dackham. Looking for Fox at the back post instead and inches away. What can Summers create? Playing further back in defence this game. Driving forward well. Oh, Cyrus Soa. Back to Summers on the overlap. Summers puts in a lovely ball. Who will it fall to here? Headed away by Charlie Fox. Well, they have forced a corner this yellow team. Out swinging this time. Great header from Richardson, but good hands from Jarvis. And the Blues will look to play on the counter. And here is Fox under a bit of pressure, does well to get the ball away. Tom Doherty. Aaron Taylor. Looking to get on the outside of one. A good switch of play. Cutting back and unleashing the strike. Denied on this occasion by Ashton Coxon. Plenty of options this time. Aaron Taylor looking to switch the play. And it might come back for Taylor. He's the option on the run, but the ball just overhit. And that will uh, likely bring an end to game five as we will have a look at the game's statistics ahead of our final game here at the uh, Spring Break Showcase.
another win there for the yellow team, winning 2 0. Now for the final game of the day red versus black. Well, we're into our final game here at the SR USA Spring Break Showcase. And it's the red team who will be facing off against the black team in our very last game of six here. All 57 players have been on show. What can these sets of players offer? Well, picked off to begin with by Collingwood, who just puts it wide. Leo Elsden in goal for the Reds. Imran looks long. And it could fall here for Demario Wilby. Cutting it back and just beyond Hawes Johnson. Throwing to come from Amas Imran. Elston under a bit of pressure does well to get it away to Tom Barron. And the uh, central midfielder will look to go long once again. And this time it's Hawes Johnson latching onto it. He's got Naukcho in the middle. Instead he'll find Taylor on the edge of the area. Forced back this time but it's a red throw. Throw in from Bobby Mortimer. Mortimer battling for it. But now Untrup comes away with it. Now look Joe riding the tackles. Excellent work to find Taylor. Cutting back inside. Good footwork to recycle possession. Here's Wilby. Taylor. Barron. Taylor again. This time whips it in. Just missed by Hawes Johnson. Barron on the turn loses out and away come the black team through Finn Jordan driving past defenders Finn Jordan and as he drives on here he looks to find support and does so cut out excellently well by Joe Lloyd and now the Reds could counter looking to chip it in behind it's a good first touch and a great flick on. Out comes the goalkeeper, Ben Mucklow, to sweep up. Picked off. Reds back in possession on the edge of the area. Winding up a shot, but wide on this occasion. Well, a lovely touch from Wilby. Wilby searching for Naukcho. In comes the sliding tackle from Finn East. Good defence from the black team. And up goes Collingwood, but it's back with the red team. And that's Imran. Rocho gets a touch on it. But then carry out a defence by Harry Kirk. Kirk looking to beat his man but dispossessed and Wilby could be free here. Wilby looking to wind up a shot but great covering on this occasion. And it's another opportunity for the red team to build from the base. It's a good long ball into that wide channel. And that's Imran again looking to create from centre half. And he does find Lloyd. Shot from range, just over. A great effort from Finley Barlow. Onto the field comes uh, Rafe Hyman. <coughs> will be a free kick from way out on that left-hand side. Bit of space for uh, the red team to encroach into at the moment. <laughs> Imran, good ball up to Marucho, puts it in behind, searching for uh, the new man, Rafe Hyman. Mucklow, Mortimer, good ball across the face of his own defence. Crowded by red shirts, but they do 
break into midfield with numbers. Looking to get it out of his feet and uh, find a bit of space for Jordan, but dispossessed. And Barron comes away with it now. Patient play from Tom Barron. Well, Collingwood looking to intercept. First touch pass from Imran. Looking to open them up. Good dribbling from Nawik Cho. Will be. Still will be. Driving in, will be. And he does score. Demario will be. Creates a bit of space for himself, dispossessing the defenders and uh, tucking home. An emphatic finish from close range. Almost a little bit surprised for it to land back at his feet, Demario will be. There's a good score. Kassen. All the way back. That man, Harry Kirk. Long switching pass. Looking to find a bit of space. First touch cross. Collected. And well controlled to begin with by Jordan. Mortimer. And Kavanagh. And there's the strike. Blocked on this occasion. Ewan Russell's strike. Well, as this corner brings an end to six fantastic games of football, the next section will be all about each of the 57 players involved going in depth with our statistics here. So let's start with the goalkeepers as the final whistle is blown. That wraps up our 2024 Spring Break Showcase. Thank you all for tuning in. Any feedback is appreciated, and if there's anything else we can help with, please get in touch.